Hi there, me again. Uh, just a quick video to discuss uh, the connector thing I was describing on the blog. Um, <clears throat> the the radius and diameter relationship here, uh, you'll find that, for example, like nominal diameter um, is set up as a place and some of this stuff is being calculated. Now this, this is also using an external table to drive some sizes, but you'll see here that fitting outside radius, center radius, is being driven by dividing a diameter value in half. And what you find is that you've got a radius set, uh, setting that's governing the size of these fittings. <clears throat> now what I was talking about is, is if you create a, a parameter and you try to use the uh, little sneaky button there, for example. So if I take this and just blow this guy away for a second. And then add another connector. Put it on that face this radius can be mapped to a parameter. Now, if I try to, try to create one myself, notice it goes straight to common and length. And I've got this little graphic showing up because of my tablet. If I take that and swap it out for my pen, it'll go away. But common and length, uh, so now I'm using the mouse and I'm not seeing that little graphic. <clears throat> uh, to get around that, I can go to the family types dialog and create a parameter myself, which then gives me the chance to say I want it to be piping and I'd like it to be pipe size. And the, the result of that is that my new parameter now gives the user the ability to punch in, say, 10 inches. And rather than having to say zero space, 10 inches, etc. So if you build them in up front, then they become available. And then if you end up creating uh, a dimension or something later, then you can use that same strategy by simply choosing it from the list or grabbing it here clicking on the associate family parameter and then grabbing my nice parameter to govern that size so hope that helps